Hello again, um, I'm FireDragon04 and this is my Halo Custom Edition tutorial on Terrain. This is part one. We're going to create the height map for the terrain. We're going to create the terrain in max and then we're going to add some hills and more realistic cliffs to the terrain. Okay, first what we're going to do is just open the most simple program in my eyes ever created. It's MS Paint. Just got a basic one here. Um, just a basic open. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to create um, some of just a small terrain area where we can have um, two bases and everything. I'm just going to create some sort of a U-shaped map. Um, white means cliff, black means ground really. So you know. I'm just going to do this. So the sides are a little uneven, but I'll sort that out. Okay, that looks a little odd, I know. But we can just alter it this a little bit. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. Just like that. We do. So we'll just save that as. Um, I'm just going to save it on my desktop as height map. Just going to save it as a JPEG. Okay. So now we've done that, we can open up um, 3ds Max. Um, what I've learned to do now is we create a box. Doesn't matter really what size it is, and then set the length and the width segments to 50. I know that is very high poly but if you want you can um, optimize it if the polygon count is too high but if you do that you can also actually get some face tearing which is quite bad. Ok anyway we flip we select all the polygons and then we flip them so it's an inside thing and then we just select the everything except for the ground, the bottom one, and we hit hide here. Okay, so we just have that little plane now. Do is we select all the polygons, go on to the modifiers list, click displace, and then you see bitmap here. You click non, and then just go to our desktop and click the height map that we just created. Strength set it to about 50, it'll probably be too high. May not be look, that looks pretty good anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna keep with that. You can see what we just created is put into max. Okay, so convert to editable mesh. And we've done that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some hills and things. So I'm gonna put soft selection on. Because I like, um, using soft selection when I create hills you can see it um, makes smaller hills with, and then it creates a radius around the vertice where it will create it P pretty bumpy terrain again but if you notice the cliffs are a little bit jaggedy we'll sort that out in a second this is where the base is going to go, so I'm not going to add any hills there for now. Just moving around here. If you're wondering what I'm going to do for the base, um, the base is actually going to be in the second part of the tutorial. Which the second part will also include um, texturing. So it's going to be texturing and base create, well, base adding in the second part of the tutorial. Don't want these to be too long and boring. Create a few different size ones, so I'm gonna set this in twelve now. Okay. So now that's the terrain done. It's kinda bumpy and not bumpy but I don't want to go too crazy on that. I'm just going to um, edit some of the cliffs now. Just 
just like that. I see he's just going to move those and stuff. If everyone watched my indoor map um, tutorial, you'll know that when I was moving some vertices, Max crashed. I'm hoping it won't do it this time. But if it does, that's just tough luck, in it? <laughs> At least it didn't take me long to reload Max that time. Okay, I'm just moving these around. Making those a little bit more realistic in places. Well, no, it isn't doing much, but just moving a few vertices can um, change the entire look of it when it goes in game. I do take sometimes a lot longer on um, creating the height map because I actually add hills and things in there with um, a grey colour. But this is just um, kind of quick and basic, so that's um, that's the terrain done. Um, I'll add the bases and texture it um, in the second part of the tutorial. So hope this helped in creating the general um, terrain. Um, turn in to part two, um, where we can have. Um, bases and texturing and things. One last thing I'll say is click unhide and we get those faces back look where the sky can go. Useful. Okay, so see you in part two. Yeah, just save that. Okay, see you in part two.